Hello, my name is Mars, and welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. Uh, we're out here in front of fish and chips because before I tackled my culinary science education, I wanted to turn in the mob side quest we had. And let's talk to this guy again. Alright, do I need to buy more pencils? I think I have two pencils now. Because he's a hobo, so eventually the goal is going to be to get him back to the hobo camp, right? I don't know. Alright, let's give Greasy Steve the laundered meat. You glance around to make sure nobody is watching and slide the sack of freshly laundered meat across the table. Greasy Steve opens the sack and glances inside. Nice job, kid. Here's your payment. He picks up his briefcase, empties the sack into it, and slides the briefcase back to you. So I got the, the dirty money as my payment. Seriously? He shrugs and goes back to stuffing his face. Don't throw this call your phone. Okay. I think I'm gonna, all right, first of all, open the meat briefcase, not a god fool. I have a lot of meat now. Um, I'm actually gonna go straight back to the antique shop and maybe get another mission? I don't know. And look, uh, as I was going to fish and chips, I noticed that we now have a, um, a fast travel right to Rufus' lab. We don't have to go the long way. That's a good thing to know. All right, we got a message from the Don. Don Toblerone speaking. Don, that was unusually concise. Are you feeling okay? The boss is mad about our telephone bill. I have been encouraged to keep this brief. <laughs> I see, well, what's the job? Gracie Steve will have the details for you. Ugh, okay. Okay, let's see. I have a lot of elemental armor in preparation for that quest. Can I play chess now? Scorch Knight Trick. Scorch King Ploy. Smelly Rook Maneuver. The Bishop's Skeleton Technique. The Shivering Knight Gambit. Oh no. I don't have enough spooky armor. The King's Lingerie Attack. Don't have enough stench armor for that. Lewd Pawn Ruse. Field Queen the Show Defense. No. Okay. I'm losing now. It gets hard. You start needing a lot of armor. Alright. I've accepted that I lost. Checkmate. Okay. Alright. I got... I got some vermouth from... Was it? No, I got absent from uh, from Rufus, so I'm gonna hand him in. Hand it in. This will attract some dour RC types. I love it. All right. So now I get the absent, and that adds some Skeldy and Moxie. Um. Okay. What about the cola? The cola and the. I, I turned in Vermouth, too. Is there another place where I can get those? Oh, I got... And there's more stuff in there. That's nice to know. I swear, I handed in some other stuff. Alright. And I want to see... Alright, I have enough muscle for this door. But I need 8 mystically and 7 moxie. I just wanted to remind myself of that. Alright. No. We are going back to SIT. Alright. There's a lack bug in there just begging to be squeezed. Impenetrable shellac. No, this is actually where shellac comes from in the real world. Nature is awful. Okay, Greasy Steve, what do you got for me? Hey, kid, good to see you. Have a French fry. They have fries here? I did see that on the menu. I bring my own from home. A pass, thanks. What's the job? The boss has decided we need to send a message to Congressman Chutney. 
feel familiar? Sure, a message is where information is conveyed from one person to another. I meant with the congressman. Never met him. His son Chadley is a student here. Lives at one of the frat houses, Zeta Omega Omicron. I know the place, so... So you're gonna make young Chad sleep with the fishes. Whoa, whoa, I didn't sign up for. He passes you a large sack of bread and fish. You. Oh, well, I didn't sign up for this either. Look, all you gotta do is get into the kids' room. It's a lead pipe cinch. I don't know what that means, but okay. I guess. Um, well, we know where Chadley sleeps. He has the, the shiny room at the, the stinky gross rat. Um, alright. I don't, I don't feel like fighting right now. You take a deep breath, adjust your assumptions about geometry to accommodate a less Euclidean viewpoint, and manage to find a gap between two walls that's wide or tall or perhaps deep enough to escape through. You emerge from the doorway you originally entered, and as far as you can tell, your heart is still on the correct side of your body. Woo! Alright. I'm sure it won't be easy to get to this guy's room, but I just wanted to take a look. Oh, I thought there was a deadbolt on the door. <laughs> you sneak into Chad's room and dump the rotting fish out onto his bed. After tonight's inevitable rager, he'll stagger back to his room and pass out without even noticing them. The perfect crime. Bada bing bada boom. Okay. I thought that was going to be a lot harder than it was. Okay. Now that we have... I've noticed that all of these quests are like an overly literal interpretation of like organized crime... Uh, euphemisms like laundering dirty money and shakedown and sleeping with the fishes. It's quite delightful. <laughs> okay. Okay. It is time for class. Alright, I'm gonna hypnotize this guy. <laughs> and head to the barbecue wing? Yes. Culinary science. Alright. Go on in. Hello! Are you a new culinary art student? Yep, I picked it as my elective. Great, in that case, what you need to do is pretty simple. What's that? Just use the cooking stations here to prepare a full day's worth of food. Okay, that seems reasonable. I'll need all three meals. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, plus an appetizer and dessert. Got it. Please hurry, all the other students left for vacation and I'm absolutely starving. You make them feed you? Okay. You review everything you know about making omelets and it's exactly one thing. Unfortunately, you don't have a few eggs, so that knowledge is currently useless to you. This counter is surrounded by scary floating sandwich parts. Spooky armor. You choke down your fear and approach the poultry sandwich. You're going to make a regular sandwich out of this haunted mess. You'll have to start with some kind of bread. You serve your options. What kind of bread do you want to grab at the close pass? I'm going to guess that the one I have the most of is going to be the best option, the truculent baguette. Next comes the heart of the sandwich, the meat. Smoky smoked turkey. An energetic gruyere. And finally, the most important decision of the entire sandwich drinking process. Which condiment will you mustard. Acceptable sandwich. Nice. Sleaze armor. Deep fry something. Oh. What should I deep fry? Let's just check what all my foods are. Alright, what's this Mobius cookie? Increases damage of magical weapon attacks. Berry cake. Mushroom steak. I want to try and fry the mushroom steak. Deep fried mushroom steak. Okay, I just lost it. Appetizer. Hot armor. Since you can stand the heat, you don't feel obligated to get out of the kitchen. You approach the oven and discover a fully cooked dish inside. Some other student must have left it here. It's a plate of shrimp. That's weird. You were just thinking about a plate of shrimp. Well, as dinner settled then, that was easy. Vader Meinhof glaze. Cold armor. 
a very cold stone, so cold you can see wisps of vapor curling off of it. You dig around the cabinet under the ice-cold slab of marble and find several tubs of ice cream, some miscellaneous toppings, and a bunch of scoops, spatulas, and other equipment. Apparently, you're expected to devise some kind of ice cream sundae. Let's whip up a nice sundae. You garnish a dish of ice cream with a sliced banana, pour in a layer of hot fudge, and top it with chopped nuts, whipped cream, and a maraschino cherry. A pitch perfect traditional ice cream sundae. That sounds amazing. Now that's a dessert worth screaming about, or at least a loud gasp. And what's extra credit? Complex syrup. Simplify it. You take part of the syrup, divide it by the square root of negative one, and then add it back to the rest. Do a simple syrup. This looks like it'll come in handy for mixing drinks and speakeasy. Oh. Mixing drinks. I'm guessing maybe I need to bring some ingredients and he'll make me a mixed drink. That's why some of the, like the cola and the vermouth, yeah, the vermouth aren't showing up. Is the Coke just there for like a rum and Coke and like the, the grenadine is there for, I don't know, what, what do you make with simple syrup? I don't know. I don't have eggs. Okay. Uh, hello, you look delicious. Excuse me? Oh, sorry. For a second there, I hallucinated that you were a huge talking talking roast chicken. What do you need? Um. I'll ask her for instructions. Okay. I'll get right to it. Where can I find eggs? I want to have all of these ready. Uh-huh, any idea where I can find a few birds? Okay, these are the stinky pigeons. There's a pigeon coop on the roof of SIT's other main wing. I doubt anyone would notice if you select a couple of eggs from there. How do I get there? Roof access is through the spider wing, which you get to via the scaler wing. Some enterprising student hacked the door lock, so you shouldn't have any trouble getting up there. This is the second time I've had to go to the roof. Um... Walking down a hallway in SIT's math department, you pass a chalkboard with a bunch of complicated math scribbled on it, with a circle drawn around that and the note, do not erase. Feeling waggish and rebellious, you erase just the circle. Unfortunately, it turns out that the circle was keeping the math on the chalkboard, and it all flies off to attack you. Solve them. Thinking quickly, you rearrange, reduce, and resolve the equations down to a single zero, which winks out of existence. Calculator. What's my XP looking like? Alright, I need like 50 more. Spider wing. Roof access. Alright. Yes, I have the stench armor. A group of pigeons is called a flight, and a group of pigeon eggs is called a pile. Okay, that was easy. There's just some poop just sitting there. Still nothing I can do with this telescope. I, I doubt it. Is there like an astronomy course? Is that something I had to... Okay. I already saw this event. Alright. Yes, there's an astronomy thing I probably need to use the telescope for that. Alright. And now I can make breakfast. You butter up a pan, whisk your eggs, and get them sizzling nicely. Now it's time to pick some stuff from the station's frankly intimidating variety of omelet fillings. What do you want to put in? Uh, I honestly don't know what all of these are, but watercress sounds good. Lamb, sure. Yeah, caviar, okay. Artichoke. Watercress, lamb, and artichoke omelet. Okay. Hey, I have all the stuff. I finished all the cooking. Watercress, lamb, and omelet. Interesting artichoke omelet. Interesting choices. Not what I pick, would have picked myself, but I'm intrigued. And for lunch, now that is a fine looking sandwich. A classic example of the form. Now this dinner, let's see. Appetizer is a deep fried mushroom steak. Why, I haven't seen that one before. Can't wait to try it. And a plate of shrimp scampi, I guess. Looks a bit overdone, but shrimp is tricky, so I admire your courage. Ooh, this ice cream sundae is a real classic. Nice job. So do I pass? Absolutely, great job. 
She reaches into a desk drawer and pulls out a fork for each hand. Oh god. Now please leave before you see something you can't unsee. I need you to sign my course transcript first. Oh yes, right, there you go. I have graduated. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, before... What was I gonna do? Oh yeah. Um... I want to go back to fish and chips. Do I? Okay. Exercise with the complex physics equation. So I tell Greasy Steve? Alright. How'd it go, kid? You got some news for me? Yeah, the kid's bed is full of fish. It was a lead pipe cinch, like you said. I still don't know what that means, though. Nobody does. That's what makes it such a great turn of phrase. Anyway, nice job, kid. Now Congressman Chutney will really know who he's dealing with. He sure will. Let's open that briefcase. Yeah, I'm so rich right now. And... I don't... I'll buy one of these, why not? Because I lost that mushroom steak. Where can I find him barbecue sauce, I wonder. Ah. I think I'm getting sick, guys, so I'm sniffling a little bit. That's unfortunate. Okay. Let's go back to the main lobby. And graduate. Da -da -da -da. Okay. We've graduated, so maybe we can just go straight to the library. I passed my classes, see? You hand Ted your transcript and he inspects it carefully. After a moment, he nods, hands you back the transcript, and gestures to the door with a thumb. Thanks, Ted. Into the snacks. Oh god. Dude, what are you doing? This old man is chanting something in a language you can't understand, apparently conducting some kind of dark ritual with a rather important looking book, which you'll have already noticed is generating some kind of ominous dark portal. Interrupt him. Uh, excuse me. Well, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Well, it's just that I'm looking for a certain book, and I'll be frankly amazed if it isn't the one you've got on that pedestal there. And you think I'm just gonna give it to you? Get out of here. Who are you? You don't recognize me? Should I? I've only been enrolled here for an afternoon. I'm Jean Wormwood, and if you don't leave immediately, I'll expel you. I already graduated. I meant out of this dimension. Oh. What are you actually doing? Didn't I just tell you not to interrupt me? Yeah, but you're already interrupted now, so you might as well tell me, right? Oh yes, certainly. I'll just reveal my entire plan to some random grad student, or whoever you are. That would certainly be to my advantage. Would it? Oh, you're being sarcastic. A stellar observation. Full marks. Now get out of here before I put you on double secret probation. Jeez, I don't have to get sore about it. Criticize his gestures. You know, I'm pretty sure you're doing those gestures wrong. What? What would you know about it? You're too slow and lifeless. If I learned one thing from the cheerleaders back in school, well, I definitely learned more than one thing, but anyway, is that you've got to put some oomph into it. Real energy, you know? Hmm. I hesitate to admit it, but you might have something there. You gotta be like, pow, pow. Throw those fists out. Pow, pow? Yeah, now do the one where you're standing on one leg. Really work those glutes. Like, this? Now you got it. You slap the Dean on the shoulder and he stumbles forward and hits the portal. He screeches in pain and terror as he's sucked into it with a whoosh like a mouse caught by a shot back and then the portal vanishes with a quiet pop. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, guess I'll take the book. Oh wait, this is just a copy of the student handbook. There's nothing unusual about it. Well, shoot. The cursed book has got to be around here somewhere though. Okay, so I just look in the stacks. I'm pushing up. Oh, here it is. This is unmistakably the book you're looking for. Check it out as an examinant or as in borrow it from the library. Uh, both. Librum Umbra Malum Ovilla. This book radiates menace. The spine is as dry and cracked as the spine of a spooky skeleton. The binding reminds you of a skeleton bound to a dungeon wall with rusty manacles. The picture of a skeleton on the cover is also evocative of something scary, but you can't place what it is. It's evil. Okay, I guess we'll be getting out of here then. 
by Circus Sideshow. Um, look up her name. What was her name? I forget her last name. Josie? No. I, I, I actually forget her last name. Um, how about Jane Wormwood? Disappeared after the Black Fire incident, presumed dead. Well, he's definitely dead now. Okay. I guess not much else to do here for now. So, let's head on back to Ocean City. Alright. I want to hand over ah, that syrup. I found the simple syrup. Nice and easy. Still don't have any... Uh, yeah, I assume that the things that aren't showing up are going to be used for a mixed drink. Salutatory Grishinani. The person who is active on this telephonic mechanism and with whom you are now conversating is known as Dom Toblerone. I thought your boss said you had to keep it brief now. We devised and then agreed upon an arrangement deemed satisfactionary to both parties. Let me guess, you're paying the phone bill. Your guessing prowess is preternaturally efficacious. That's what they tell me. You got another job? Once again, the particulars of this undertakement are being held in escrow and will be transmitted to you aureliously by our colleague, who, Greasy Steve. Oh, got it. I got it. Okay, bye. Okay. Hi, Jessica. I got that book. And possibly also a bachelor's degree in robotectronics, but I'm not exactly sure. Wow, sounds like a busy day. Yes, that's a fair assessment. I'm going to bed now. Okay, sleep tight. Don't forget the, to incurse the book. We're having some trouble pinpointing the next artifact, but we should have it sorted out in the morning. Alright? Alright. Let's see what the curse is all about here. Isa Vero. You, do, you offer the grim Latin charm of the machine. Your head tingles as the machine thrums and vibrates. Inhuman vowels ululate in your ear. Dark words form at the tip of your tongue. A cacophony of languages reverberates and resounds. Pow suddenly dissipates. The curse is severed from the book. All that nasty Latin has been wiped away, revealing the uncorrupted beauty beneath. 101 delicious mutton recipes. Having lifted the curse, you realize now that it's a cookbook. It's a cookbook! The book's curse now lives inside the machine. I don't think you can project your consciousness into it. Think again, pal. Oh, goodness. I'm a hyla, small bird. I got some scars on my face. Aggie has lost much of the wolves. Still, he hunts. Hails, Aggie. Spit on a summon of Rome, Grimhild. Oh, God, what's this letter? Um, is that the th? Frafia. I'm not sure. I might be doing that wrong. Henricus offers power on top of peace. Power in return for suckling the sucklings of a she-wolf. That has no power. Aggie drinks the milk of bears, and he spits on sons and daughters of Rome. Aggie speaks too much of suckling. Talk plainly. No truce with Empire, Grimhild. Farewell for now. There is still wisdom left in old Fridanach for those who ask the right questions. Hyla, Grimhild. Hails. Not often is Latin spoken on our soil without bloodshed. It augurs well for our future. Henricus offers us much power. Yah, the tribes who ally with Empire are greatly rewarded, but I can name no tribe who would be as powerful as you, Grimhild, if you are good to that man. Fridanach. Don't speak of marriage at this time. Ah, why scold me? Would it not go well for our future and yours? A secure peace for all, with much power to you and benefits. Would you not like to have fine silks, Grimhild, and spices and fine creams? Farewell. Okay, so this one is a little more serious in nature. It's kind of like that first one with the woodcutter. Henricus has much confidence to come alone. Ave, barbarian. Hails. I stand before you in the name of Imperator Gaius Julius Caesar Divus, Dominus of these lands. The Imperator's birthday is next Mercury's day. It is a big birthday, he will be 40. 
Sign his birthday card, barbarian, and the Empire shall look upon th with favor upon your tribe. When we are in public, you call me barbarian? Oh. Ah, so you seek in private to ply me with sweet words, but now you call me barbarian? Okay, so this is the guy who's courting us, I guess. I am on official business, Grimhild, and my words are chosen accordingly. If you do not perceive my passions, it is only because I have dominion over them. Speak not of passions to me in this place. Seek guest. Why not sign the birthday card? I will sign the card for your king. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. Imperator Grimhild, please. And is, he is your Imperator, too. So you say. What will you write to your Imperator? In Latin, please. Remember your lessons. Tell him. Oh, God. <laughs> um. God. Does it have to be an actual Latin phrase? Um. I took Latin in high school. Uh. But. I don't know which ones, which phrases they actually remember. Let's do a very generic one. Nota bene. <laughs> Why can't the barbarians teach their children Latin? <laughs> Seek Semper Tyrannus. <laughs> okay, enough of this. I was, I was typing Latin. I don't know what was wrong with that. Can I go inside this house? No, I cannot. So I'll just threaten him. Step aside, Henry Kiss, or I'll go right through you. I don't respond to threats. <laughs> I don't threaten to tear men down the middle. I do it. You respond to me or you die. Look at me. What would happen to the man who stands in my way? I don't respond to histor rhetorical questions. And I don't ask for questions. You vex me further and I'll kill your entire family. Okay. Um, do you know how many men I have killed? Very well, Henricus. Tell me. How would you like to die today? I don't respond to open questions. So I think this is just a dialogue um, puzzle. Why do you persist in vexing me? How much longer do you mean to do this? Um, why do you persist in vexing me? <laughs> I don't respond to recall and process questions. Oh my god. <laughs> um, so, I guess I need to find the one. This is like a grammar, a grammar, um, question. So, he says, I don't respond to threats. You have to find the only one that's not a threat. He says, I don't respond to rhetorical questions. You have to find the only one that's not rhetorical. <laughs> he says, open questions. You have to find the only one that's not open. And now I need to find the one that's not a recall and process questions. Are you attached to your eyes? Do you think you still will be by sunset? Fair Grimhild, it is fairly won. You are right. I would not wish to lose my eyes and be deprived in turn of your fine beauty. It's not personal, Henricus. It's just a birthday card. Are you attached to your eyes? A sharp wood is yours indeed, Grimhild. But oh, if you had only lashed me with a Latin tongue, your barbs would ring like great poetry. Stop talking to this man. Okay. A birthday card to Imperator Gaius Julius Caesar Divus is a powerful document. There is no better opportunity for the tribes in the north to gain Caesar's notice and favor. Punch the card into the side, the sky. Oh. It's a constellation now. Consumatum est, the curse that once lodged within that forbidden and nasty text has been writ unwritten and undone, and you find it in a fascinating final chapter you did not notice before. Alright. Now it increases meat drops. 
10 new ways to prepare mutton. What about bounty? Um, I'm excited to cook something. I did a lot of that today. Anyone like mutton? No. Let's read that book. This book is so much less scary than it used to be now that it's now almost as boring as a real book. This 11 chapter cookbook consists of one chapter of actual mutton recipes preceded by nine chapters devoted to techniques for securing the mutton in the first place. You're not that interested in mutton acquisition, but the tips have some general applicability. You know where to find mutton and mutton adjacent substances, plus 30% to meat drops. And there's one more chapter. The final chapter has a density of information that is going to take some time to parse. There are some mutton recipes for sure, but also detailed information on basically every other kind of meat that exists. Do you want to foray into the text? Not right now, I have enough to upgrade my muscle. Yeah. Okay. And we're almost done with these, but I don't think we're almost done with the game, so I'm thinking that these are designed to like, get you halfway through the game, and then once you get all of them, there'll be another screen for them. That's what I'm guessing, at least. All right. Oh, I almost forgot. Before I le he left on this errand, Charles asked me to have you pick a third store. Of course. The first applicant is Bertram's Bakery. Bert's a buddy of mine from my restaurant days. He makes a good loaf. Okay. So these are some of the same ones. Bakery, hardware store, or potion store. Um, hey, Bertram's Bakery, are you associated with the Doughboys? I don't want any of that on my street. I'm guessing hardware store would sell combat items. Potion store. That's your potion store. Okay. You sit up Rufus's hot plate on your desk. Oh, yeah. Alright. Alright, we're gonna get more mana enriched flour. Alright, tickle him. Alright, I'm not gonna go to sleep right now because we're at time and I assume there's gonna be a dream tonight. So, I will go to sleep and start the next day in the next episode. I have been Mars and I will be back with more Shadows Overloading.